Sometimes it just comes down to their opponents on defense waiting them out, and it can see such easy success. In many what is up, bras, and welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be going over 12 tips and tricks from the badass game that happened just a couple days ago between Ents and Vitality. Now jumping right into it, I just gotta let you guys know, if you guys don't want to watch every single tips and tricks, don't forget that you guys can click down below to skip around and just watch whatever ones you may like. But starting off, this first camera is gonna be a camera that's invisible from anybody approaching the east side based on this little edge that's in the way. And this is mainly to see anybody that's rotating in and out between the main hallway and offices. Obviously, if somebody is approaching from the west hand side, then they will be able to see this camera. But overall, this is a great option. He should have been full blind. Canari though, there to refrag. The Habana is lost, so the drop downs, if they're not already opened, will, no, they are. So it doesn't actually matter that much. But still, Vitality holds on to this top floor. Now this second spot, we're gonna be putting a little twist on a very, very common spot. Now I remember when Border first came out, pretty much every single person would come up here and just hold angles down below, especially when defending the objective. But what I have never personally used it for, and what I have never been killed from, is somebody actually standing on top of the lockers, but then holding an angle up inside of the armory lockers. So I thought that was pretty clever. And one other little twist that you guys could do is you could actually break a couple pieces of the floorboard right here, and you could hold an angle up into the doorway at head level through the floor, so then you wouldn't even be exposed from the hatch. So I thought that was a really, really clever twist put on this spot if I'm definitely going to be using this one. I have a feeling it's going to throw a lot of people off. Earlier, the one that uh, has a good amount of coverage on the top floor. Vitality going to get a Claymore kill as Boonsie vaults out the B window. Um, not sure what happened there, but that's probably one of the best possible kills you could get onto the defense, especially only a minute into the round. Uh, Boonsi, of course, the smoke, not having used any of his gas grenades, is going to be, well, useless in this round. That's unfortunate. Right, you just lost the smoke, probably the most valuable operator on defense for Ents, and you did so without taking an engagement as well. Alright, so our next spot is mainly going to be when the enemy is defending the server room. And you have a bunch of allies that are kind of huddled up outside. This is a great default claymore because this is such a common area for people to get very confident from jump out of the window especially a lot of people will play like a pulse in this corner if they see somebody standing still or on the drone they're definitely going to do a jump out so this is a great default claymore to go to whenever you are attacking this area and you have those pesky defenders that are super confident a lot of maneuvering here that they can Put on to, they can basically flex on Ents right now. They're, Ents is going to be the ones that we're, they need to start playing extremely safe. All right, so probably by now you guys know that the majority of the floor inside of the armory lockers is destructible. But what I really like to do is highlight these really rare types of angles where if somebody is approaching from the way that you're looking, you're going to be able to see their feet before they are able to see you. So this is one of those really tricky angles. And this is just going to be a couple floorboards directly to the left of the rug. If you go much more than that, it's going to be an undestructible area. And then if you go a little bit back, it's going to be the other room. So basically right here, these are where my bullet holes go. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, where it's one of those rare angles where you can see them before they see you. So right here, just based off of the head level, they are going to be able to see my feet. But when I look up, I can't even see where they're aiming from. Even when I crouch, I still am not able to see them. I would have to be prone in order for this to happen. So you guys can tell, obviously, if I just run forward, I'm going to be essentially raising where their bullets are hitting. It's going to go from feet, chest, head before I can even see them. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Vitality bringing it to bathroom tellers. So... For the uninformed, let's talk a little bit about bathroom tellers. Now, this is probably one of the uh, most odd sites that we do see played from time to time. However, it is widely regarded as the worst bomb site. 
All right, so if you're ever unfortunate enough to have to defend the bathroom and teller's bomb site, don't forget that you can come up to the top floor and break out the floor directly above the outside wall that would lead directly into the bomb site, which pretty much every attacker is going to most likely go for once they clear the top. Now, this is a pretty common area, so this is for the newer siege players. Similar to the way we see bathrooms tellers, you have to defend from above. So. If you can flush somebody out. All right, so we're going to be doing a second Valkyrie camera on border, and this time we're going to be going north onto the vehicle customs. Now, you guys can tell right here that if you just decide to throw it from inside of the map, you're actually not going to be able to get it quite high enough very easily. So what you can do is you can go into a custom game, practice jumping out of the window and getting the timing down so that you just jump out, instantly chuck it in the direct area, and then you'll be able to vault back in without being detected like you just saw me do. This is a great option for a camera. Bandit goes through Whoa. a canto, a shot out of nowhere. How do you connect with that and Spark, who looked to be able to clean up as a great reflexive shot from the Bandit? All right, now this one's not really a tip or trick. I just really wanted to highlight this one because this shows how nutty Cantor Akedi can be. Man, he has always been one of my favorite pro league players to watch and he's just so insane. Even though Ents may not be doing as great as normal this season, man, they are still one of the best teams in my opinion. And this is one of the most insane shots, especially because it was on a Blackbeard. And that was the, that was the first time in this whole map that they've done it. And landslide success so hopefully they'll be able to read that and continue to actually commit to their strategies their calls and uh they'll have better hope hopefully we can get uh overtime here all right so this is going to be another one if you guys are in a match and the other team is just constantly doing runouts everybody's been in this position before where the other team is just non-stop attack, 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 which is not bad if they can land the shots. But what happens a lot of times, the other team is gonna be adjusting to their play style. This is one of those great spots where if somebody's just constantly running out, especially on the west balcony, they're gonna get picked off so easily. And you guys can see from here, this is an insanely difficult angle to shoot back on, especially because you're not going all the way up to the top. You're just repelling and poking your head up. They opted to switch to kitchen at the very final moment. We'll see if it will, you know, afford them any more success. I think they went up top. I think it, it, you, when you're in this position like where Ents is right now, you got to start taking everything you can get. And Kanto's highlighting just that as he goes for a spawn peek onto Zephyr. Honestly, a very oh, that's common. Glass. That's the glass. That's that's not the operator you want to be losing right now. But the really interesting thing for me is that's an extremely common spawn peek he just used. That was at the top of lobby stairs, uh, a very, very predictable window to be looking out of. But Kanto, of course, with his exceptional skill, was able to make it work for him. All right, now this is a spot that we literally just did in the previous Pro League Tips and Tricks video. Now, you guys know that I try not to ever put a duplicate tip inside the Pro League Tips, but I have to highlight this because you guys really need to watch out for this insanely common spawn peak that works constantly. And the reason it's so popular too is it's one of those rare angles again where if the attacker is approaching, the defender is going to see your feet before the attacker sees them. So from right here, you can see I'm standing, crouching where the bullet holes go. I still can't see, I have to lie all the way down. So the last time we saw this spawn kill, it worked further north where the guy died by the Lamborghini. This one's further south. So no matter where you come running from, from the main entrance, you're gonna be vulnerable. So you definitely gotta watch out for this one because it is such a strong angle, even though so many people use it. But the smoke can still provide cover for a plant is going to be Spark's job as he goes in under cover E1D and Smoke. Canari will be detected. Candela is going to blind him. There is still a defender in the site. Uno gets a C4 kill. Kanto gets Brid, but Brid responds onto Kanto. And again, still a defender in the site. And that's going to be Uno who gets Bibu. And as Spark gets pushed on, he is very wisely not getting the initial frag. Gets a triple kill! Wilkie now in a one versus one! He might have the yokai still, but it's a post-plant situation. And half of the fuser has been whittled down. Spark is 
in a perfect spot to clutch this right now. Now, he's very likely going to be hit by the Yokai, which Wilkie seems to be using right now. And he has indeed been hit by that very drone. But he's choosing to move over to Blue Stairs, playing the long game, expecting the push from Wilkie. And here it comes. Wilkie checks the wrong angle, and he goes back in for the diffuser. There's no time! Spark clutches it out in a one versus four! Oh my. And that is, we just saw firsthand why you wait. When you're in that position to strike and you hesitate for that moment, you have two real options. You either pay for it immediately or you fully capitalize and wow. Vitality snags around that they really, at the start, didn't have any business in winning. All right, now this is one little detail that makes Siege so tricky. Just a simple little vault up onto the counter can throw an entire badass team off so much. And this is such a great diffuser spot. This is one of the spots that was gonna make it inside of my diffuser only video for diffuser spots. So be on the lookout for that video in the near future. With this spot, we saw a 1v4 clutch just based off of not checking a very simple corner standing on top of a counter. And don't forget, if you can get the bomb planted up here, this entire floor is destructible. So if somebody vaults up or is next to it in order to defuse it, they're gonna get taken out so easily. Now in the next tip, we're gonna be going over this same spot that you can use it yet again. Overall, this spot on coastline is nutty for multiple different reasons. And you're gonna see another use for this absolute badass spot. Lit up the lion to about 25 HP, possibly 30 HP, but either way, not very much. And oh, look at this, Spark. Bandit tricking from below, but less than your typical bandit tricking. He's just <laughs> playing bandit and shooting the Xcaros using a well-conceived angle. All right, now this angle from the same spot is gonna help us defend the wall that goes into Penthouse, which almost every single team is gonna be going for with either a Havana or a Thermite. What we saw was a bandit being played, but I was thinking, man, if somebody was a pulse down here, you could absolutely wreak havoc on the attacking team. We would be able to nitrocell or shotgun them so easily while they place it. So basically this hole right here is gonna go straight up into the VIP lounge next to that circle couch and we can protect this wall so easily. Now what we saw in the previous clip was Bandit shooting out the Habana charges which saved this wall which is an excellent play. And one other final little tip that we can do, this little spot right here inside of the second floor hallway, if you get the diffuser down that I didn't mention in the previous video, you can stand in the hallway so that you're not susceptible to any C4s or anything, that floor is not destructible and you can put a hole inside of the wall and watch down onto the bomb. A maneuver from Vitality will happen again and because of that they're going to go downstairs and hope that their luck has changed. If it does not change then Vitality goes to match point and Entz is put in a very bad position on that Razor's edge of losing the entire matchup. So, nice angle being established here from Cantor Akedi, and he is going to try and fight this Blackbeard. He's given away his position, though, by mealing quite a lot of walls, and as you can see, Raphael is droning for his teammates, so as soon as he gets into this fight, oh wow, miraculously wins it. Too many holes for Spark to check, and uh, body shots are enough at that range from Cantor Akedi, and he will win that. All right, so this tip right here, you don't have to be in this exact location and there's many different areas that you can use this little mind trick on. What we saw was Cantor Akedi put multiple murder holes inside of the wall and this is gonna go through theater, through penthouse, all the way towards Hall of Fame. Now what this did was once the attackers dropped, it caused the attackers to look at the murder holes and kind of randomly shoot at one of them. And by the time Cantor Akedi was able to take them out, just based off of him being able to get the first shot because the attacker would have to get insanely lucky to choose the random right hole where you're actually standing on. So great trick that you can use in multiple different locations across Rainbow Six Siege maps. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your guys' favorite tip and trick of the day was. And of course, as always, I hope you guys all have a great weekend. I love you guys all. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. Peace.